Hey, chatters, I'm sitting down today because I got my cat here to the right of me, and I'm hoping he's going to come and cuddle in a minute, but we'll see if he interrupts the video. I wanted to do a, a video on just some of the paid options for Obsidian just for you to consider. You can get most everything for free, especially starting off. You're going to want to start free because it is an investment of your time. You might decide this is not for you. The first thing to know is if you're just using it for personal, it is free forever. You get access to pretty much everything. It's going to be the best option for 99 or 90% of you or whatever, especially again in the beginning. But something to mention here is that if you are using it commercially, you have a business that you're using it for, or you're running, it is 50 per user per year. Now, obviously they're not like, you're not going to get a slap on the wrist or, or barred if they find out you're lying. I don't think they have any way to really know, but to be honest, if you're using it to make money, essentially just pay the 50 bucks especially if you are using it, even in the beginning, if you there he goes, if you're using it commercially and you're using the free one, especially in the beginning, okay, whatever, totally. But if you start making money, toss him a few bucks, it's totally worth it. And I hope that once you get into it, you'll realize the utility of this and then it's well worth spending the money. And we got a couple add-ons I want to talk about. This is the one that you're probably going to want to do if you move forward. Whereas this one's a little bit different and probably not depends on what you're doing, but sync is exactly what you think it is, all your notes and all your devices. So what this means is that if you're on your computer doing all your notes, but then you go onto your phone and you don't have this, it's not going to sync across your devices with the free version of obsidian. You don't sync across devices. So if you're working on something on your computer, it's not going to transfer over to the app on your phone, for example, or vice versa. There are ways around this. There is some community plugins and, and other ways you can, you can figure this out, but I pay for this personally for, for the ease of it. And also I'm just like give obsidian all my money, but there are a couple of things uh, that are great about it. So I'm all about privacy when it comes to these personal notes. And so this end-to-end -end encryption is huge. <laughs> they use like an absurd level of encryption for this, which I love. I love it. But the idea here is that as the notes pass between your devices, there is no way unless they have a quantum computer that they're going to crack this thing. Version history. This is in tons of things nowadays, but the idea here is if you screw up, if you accidentally delete something, you change something, but want to go back. That version history is saved, so it's really easy to change back. Cross-platform, so it doesn't matter if you're using Mac, Apple, Android, whatever. It, it's all going to work very easy. And working offline sync later, so if you don't have internet access, it doesn't matter. Once you do have internet access, it updates everything. This is less important, but pretty much it's just you have control over what you're syncing, how you're syncing it, and then you can invite team members to specific folders or, or whatever. And so as of when you're watching this, it's probably going to be too late to get this, but they do have a deal going. I do yearly, monthly is 10 bucks a month, 8 bucks times 12. It's not so bad. Start syncing today. The second is publish. Now, this is a little different. I don't use this, but if you're planning on doing a company-wide use of Obsidian, this is something I would recommend. And it pretty much just creates a website for your notes or your team's notes so that you can push and publish them to a, a single place that can be accessed online. And you have all of the different things you would normally have. You can choose which folders that you actually want to publish. And this too is just eight bucks a month and all these kinds of options for you. Create your own themes, create a password. So tons of options there. And that's really it. I just wanted to go through that quickly with you. The thing is that personally I pay for commercial use and I pay for Obsidian. 
I'm starting to try to get synth mines onto the publish once we all start using Obsidian. So just things to think about. Maybe I'll do a video in the future around how you can get around the sync, but it's worth it. Just if you end up using Obsidian a lot, just pay for it. And the last option here is if you want to be a, a VIP, you can pay 25 bucks to be a catalyst. You essentially are just like donating to them. You'll get early access to stuff, some badges, some a VIP channel, but really it's because like you want to invest in this fabulous company who's created a, an amazing product for the community. That's it. Thanks for watching as usual, and I hope this was helpful. I'll see you next time.